Hey, my beautiful tribe. Welcome back. This is Renee. And this is going to be your love message. We're going to go ahead and get some messages for you from your person about your love and relationship issues. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to draw some messages and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, so this message is for my beautiful collective. Messages for my collective. I don't know how that card got in there. Okay. So, Spirit, what does my beautiful soul tribe need to know about the love and relationship? Message, messages about the love and relationship. What does the person need to say? What is being unsaid? What messages do they need to know? What is being left unsaid? Okay, so we have the future. I dream, I, I can't even speak. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Someone sees the future with you. You know, someone sees you as being their one, you know, having that long-term energy. What else do they need to say? What else do they need to say, Spirit? What else do they need to say? Okay, Twin Flames. This could be your Twin Flame. You've activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. You know, this could be someone that maybe you were in love with in a past life okay um definitely soulmate energy i'm liking this more messages please what else do they have what else do they want to say spoiling you i want to give you a good life i want to spoil you with gifts and trips everything you could ever need or want you deserve nothing less Okay, yeah, they want to spoil you, <laughs> my beautiful, they want to spoil you, they want to do something, beautiful, what else do we have, more messages, what else do we have, ghosted, I'm sorry I disappeared, I needed to get away and clear my mind. You know, I feel like this person is trying to think things through. You know, they're trying to think about what they want in their life. They see you in their life. You know, they, they see you as being a part of their life. But maybe they feel like they don't have it all together. You know, maybe they feel like they can't give you as much as they want to give you. Right. So I, I feel like this could definitely be this could definitely be more than one message um, intended for more than one person. Um, it could be that someone ghosted you in the situation. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's just taking a step back to kind of think things through because if they see that you're the one, my lovelies, they see that you're the one, you know, what else do we have? More messages, please. What else do we have? Another message. Okay, we have need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. It isn't about you. It's about me. Yeah, see, what did I say? It's not, it's not about you. You know? They're just trying to take a step back. So if someone ghosted you, if they're not, you know, reacting to your texts or taking your calls at the moment, it's because they're focused on some kind of healing. You know, I feel, I'm really feeling like this person is preparing. You know, I feel like they're preparing for this situation. They're preparing for you. You know, they're building their stuff up. 
Okay, we have playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting it to get your attention. Okay, so someone could be posting something. Someone could be putting stuff out on social media to see how you're going to react. To see what kind of reaction they're going to get from you. You know, um, someone's playing games. Someone's not really showing their full intentions. I feel like someone's trying to make you jealous. You know, this could be more than one person here. You know, but someone's playing games. Someone's trying to make you jealous. They're trying to get a reaction out of you to see where you're going with the situation. Okay, we have run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Okay. So, yes, yeah, someone wants to run away. Someone wants to take a trip with you. Get away. Get a getaway. You know, this could also be a staycation where you just spend in time together. Okay, we have nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Okay. Wow. Let's get some more energy. What else? Finding myself. It's time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life. I need space. See, look at this. You know? And I, I feel like, you know, this person has really good intentions. You know, um, if this is just one person, this channeled energy, I feel like, you know, they're all over the place, this person, but they know that, that you're the one. They know that you're the one that they're looking for, that you're the one that they want to take up time with. You know, this person may be a little jealous or they may be wanting you to be jealous of them. Because I feel like this person may have to have time by themselves to heal about this certain situations. And their ego, their self-esteem may be a little bit lower than it should be. Right? So that may be the reason why they're playing games. But I feel like this person really wants to spend a lot of time with you. Even though they may not show it all the time. You know? Um, I feel like they know that you're the one. They know that you're the one that they've been looking for. Give me a message for the collective. What else? Attention of others. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. See, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? This person is playing games. Because they have this need to feel wanted, to, you know, they feel like you don't really love them purely unless you're jealous or unless you get some kind of reaction about something that they're doing. You know, they like that attention. They like how it feels. Okay. We have unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. You know, and I feel like if you don't show those reactions that they're looking for, they feel unclear about your intentions. They don't know where the connection is going or, you know, how to move forward with it. And I feel like this has to do with past energies, past relationships. Okay, because, you know, they're trying to heal from certain situations, but I, I don't feel like this is energy that you put into them. I feel like this is energy that they're trying to overcome because of you. You know, I feel like you're making this person a better person. We have let me go. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now I'm not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. You see, they, they don't know exactly what they want. They don't know. They know that you have the ability to make them a better person. And by doing that, they feel like you, you know, you have this huge ability and you deserve so much more than what they can offer you. 
You know, we have obsessed at the bottom. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and I hope I run into you when I'm out. You know, they're kind of back and forth. You know, they don't know exactly how I feel. You know, they, um, if this is someone that you've started talking to, or if this is someone that you will start talking to, you know, they're kind of back and forth. They're kind of unclear. And I believe that it's due to, you know, past relationships that they were in. This has put them in this situation because now they're, they're needing this social interaction or this feeling of being accepted, of, you know, having this attention in order to feel love. You know, so they, they may have kind of a warped sense of a relationship. You know, I, I feel like their sense of relationship may not be truly the way you see things or the way you view your relationship as going. But I do feel like this person sees you as the one. You know, they see you as being very gifted as you know having all the qualities that they they want or need okay we have the star we have the temperance we have the chariot and we have the four of swords yeah so this person is going through healing you know once this person goes through their healing and um goes through like a meta metamorphosis of how they see a relationship is going, they're going to bring you some kind of offer. They're going to bring you an offer that you don't expect, right? They're going to give you some kind of invitation, some kind of proposal of a sort. Um, but I feel like this person is definitely going through some, kind of, some sort of healing. But they also want to be your spotlight. Okay. They definitely want you to notice them. They want you to notice the things that they're doing. And I feel like this person is moving forward. They're, they're moving in the direction of you. Okay. Um, but they're ready to move towards you. But right now they're focused on themselves. You know, this person may be a little selfish. They may um, have a ego you know of course they have ego because they they want their ego to be raised with all this attention that they're expecting right give me a message what other messages do we have but i feel like this person is moving forward they're, they're moving forward they're moving towards you okay um give me a message The Four of Pentacles in Reverse. And the High Priestess. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. I, I, I feel like being without you. I feel like not... You're going to maybe think I'm crazy here. Okay. Um, but, but hear me out. I think that if you give them the same treatment as they're giving you... I feel like that's going to open their eyes and that's going to reveal a whole lot to them. You know, because this is someone who sees you as the wish fulfillment. This is someone who sees you as, you know, they're wanting to be greedy with you. You know, they want all your attention. They want all your attention. They feel like once they have all of your attention that they will be totally fulfilled, you know, that that's going to show them everything that they need to know, that, you know, they're going to actually feel that love and that acceptance from you, you know, something that they have been maybe trying to build within themselves, but they can't find, you know, because they're, they're, they're trying to feel restored, Okay, this person's trying to feel restored and they feel like you, you have the ability to do that. They feel like it's only you. 
okay but i feel like you know this person may come clean to you about their true their true feelings their true intentions they may come clean to you very soon okay let's get a timeline for this connection let's get a timeline give me a timeline for this connection spirit Ooh, give me a timeline messages okay 12 months wow Okay, ask again with confidence and certainly and certainty of what you want. Time frame is within four months. Okay. If you're certain about this connection, if you're certain that this person is what you want, if this person is the one that you want to pursue, then the answer is within four months. If you're willing to go about it this person's way. It's going to be 12 months before you see any changes, before this connection actually starts to build and create. Okay. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Spirits. Okay, let's get, see, let's get some angel cards. What does the collector need to know about this connection? What messages do you have? What messages do you have? Okay, voice of truth. Yes, yeah, speaking your truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution, persecution and speak your truth. So let this person know how you feel. Okay, don't wait for them to come clean let them know how you feel you know and then trust trust right so let's get some more energy we'll get one more okay we have between worlds yeah you're kind of stuck between two paths you know you're stuck between you know, should you give this person the time of day or should you just move forward? You know, because I feel like this person is very back and forth, but they have a lot of care for you. You know, they there's just some things that they need to work out because they want to be better for you. They feel like you can make them a better person. You can bring that out of them. All right. Let's get your angel number. Let's get your angel number. We have change. Change happens outside your comfort zone. The time for change is now. The angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it. Take the next step. Allow change to lift you up and guide you forward. Your affirmation, I release all that no longer serves me. I am guided to move outside of my comfort zone and let change in. Okay. So that is your reading, my beautiful lovelies. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at um, another reading. Another one of the readings I have in this collective, collective playlist, if you'd like. Uh, this is a timeless reading, so when you see this reading is when you are meant to receive it. And until your next reading, my lovelies, many blessings to you. Love and light.